we're in the midst of Texas, USA. Dr. Alexander Orevsky, an extraordinary physicist and father of optoacoustic tomography, here at his favorite outdoor activity. I really love nature, and I really love lakes, and especially when they're transparent, that makes me feel so good. My wife calls me a fish. Anywhere I see the lake, I go in. Visiting Tomo Wave in Houston, Texas, in 2010, Dr. Orevsky founded this company to commercialize his technological ideas. All right, let's go to the meeting, guys. Meeting time. Meeting time, guys. A dozen ambitious young scientists from all over the world work here on the latest generation of optoacoustic imaging systems used for the early detection of cancer. The boss is proud of his team. Without this team, this technology will not be able to uh, to happen, to commercialize, we need to have all these, you know, good experts. This novel procedure looks into soft tissue with high optical contrast and molecular specificity. The concentration of substances in the blood can be measured. It is even possible to distinguish between oxygen-rich arteries and oxygen-poor veins. All this has become possible thanks to highly resolved images of tissue structures lying as much as 7 centimeters below the skin. This is promising both for research and for clinical work. Laser pulses produce sound. So now we know that we could convert laser energy into sound. But whether it could be used to image or not was not clear initially. But then we performed that experiment and we, we used a stack of chicken breast and a small pieces of liver underneath and we were able to see small pieces, piece of liver underneath that big stack of chicken, that was the ah moment. Yes, we could see very deep. A single laser pulse very rapidly heats up the tissue, which results in thermal pressure. Then this heated tissue expands, launching an acoustic pressure wave in ultrasound frequency range. These acoustic waves can be measured outside the body and a computer calculates a tomography image based on the detected signals a revolutionary imaging method with enormous potential. It provides doctors with unique and valuable information at reasonable cost and without using ionizing radiation. You could see here the standard technology of X-ray mammography cannot visualize cancer well due to poor contrast, especially in younger women. We visualize tumors based on concentration of microvasculature in those tumors. And because of that, tumors absorb stronger than the background. You could see background is dark, while tumors are much brighter because of higher concentration of blood in the microvasculature of tumors. Malignant tumors have a dense microvascular system that can be visualized at high contrast using this method. If we see tumors well, it means they're aggressive. If we don't see them, we don't need to see them because they're benign. Our technology will minimize false positives. False positive means that you see something and you believe it may be a cancer, but in reality it is not. Breast cancer, a devastating diagnosis for every woman. Alexander Orevsky's development shines new light on this matter by differentiating between benign and cancerous tumors with the help of pulsed laser light and sound. Sano, the producer of a commercial system based on Dr. Arefsky's patents, started the first multi-center clinical trial for diagnostic imaging of breast cancer. Studies conducted here at the MD Anderson Cancer Clinic in Houston are part of this trial. Professor Wa Yang, the director for the clinical studies on the capabilities of the newest 3D imaging system. The benefits of optical imaging are that no radiation is necessary. Second, there is no compression necessary of the breast. Third, is that the actual acquisition is in terms of seconds at the moment. Most of the time that is required to produce the information is in the post-processing procedure. The ultimate goal for uh, Dr. Orievsky will be to increase the speed of the post-processing and also to increase the portability of the system. We definitely will work on it, yes. yes. Misdiagnoses put extreme psychological pressure on women. This should soon be a thing of the past. Fighting cancer, 
For Dr. Arevsky, that is a matter of the heart. Cancer is a really horrible message you know, to any patient. We need to work very hard to bring better diagnostics and better cure and healing to patients so that they will be completely cancer-free, not just temporary, but, you know, for all times. In 1990, he came to the United States and it immediately felt like home. Here he found his love, Anita, and he loves living here together with his family. His academic career started at Rice University in Houston, and its mascot is Sammy the Owl. It was my first owl in this collection. Uh, uh, when I was professor at Rice in early 1990s, uh, one of the colleagues gave me this for my birthday, and that started this collection. The owl, symbol of wisdom. You can't have enough of that. The one person he misses is his father, Anatoly who was a well-known scientist in the Soviet Union. In the latest few years, we did few scientific papers together on design of nanotechnology so, and, and use of that nanotechnology in optoacoustic imaging. So he was, for many years, inspiration. In the end, he became my colleague and then unfortunately passed away, which I really miss a lot. Now he is a role model for his students and his staff. Ultimately, his work is about nothing less than helping people. Alexander Orevsky, a true pioneer in biomedical optoacoustics. 